So today we woke up extra early because we wanted to go to a temple that we haven't been to before. But this is the weather that we have this morning. It's really, really wet. Really, really, really wet. So you can't even see the mountains because the mist's covering them. So we're going to stay in for now and see whether it clears up. At least we can start getting some lots of work done. Back in the Song Tao again, and we're on the way to Wat Among Temple now. Where is it on the map? On the map, uh, it is about here. We're here at Wat Among Temple, or at least on the grounds. We haven't found the temple yet. We're gonna uh, try and find it. It's quite a foresty kind of area. Yeah. Check out this happy chappy. He's having a whale of a time. What is your name? My name is Tabo. Yeah, and what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, I have an assignment for my English class. Uh, I am. I am studying. I am student at Chiang Mai University. Ah, so you're studying English? No. No. What subject are you studying? So we just had a little conversation with some um, students from Chiang Mai University who were looking for some uh, Farangs, some people like us, that they could interview for their English project. They're very interested in how historical England is. So. It's nice how quiet it is here too, there aren't many tourists around, so it's quite peaceful. So underneath Wat Imong Temple there are a series of tunnels and in the tunnels they have little nooks like this one with Buddhas in that you can pray in. It's quite surprising, I haven't been to a temple like this. No, it's an interesting one. Yeah, it? it's definitely quite unique. like all the smell of incense in here. It reminds me of all of our travelling days in Asia, of all the temples that we visited. So, temples here in Chiang Mai and in Thailand in general, they're not just tourist attractions, people actually come here to pray as well. One of the things I like at the temples is the dogs that you get. You get quite a lot of temple dogs and they just hang out here and live with the monks. Look at this one. Interesting pictures with little quotes on. This one, be your own instructor. Not quite sure why it's all dogs, but it's interesting this one. You cannot have what you like, you must learn to like whatever you have. It's funny how some of these dogs in the pictures have human poses and others have dog poses. <laughs> Look at this one, it's wearing a bra and wielding a cleaver. Beware of a smile that has some of the things behind it. Mm. This, is, this is a Buddhist temple, it's 700 years old. So I guess that these are the Buddhist kind of teachings. Sounds quite simple. It is advisable to think before doing anything. Hmm, simple but true. So we've uh, finished looking around Wat Mong Temple. Yeah, this is a really nice temple. I liked mm. it. Very peaceful. Bit, yeah, peaceful, a little bit different. The others are all quite sort of like adorned in their gold and this one's quite more rustic, mm, I think. Humble, yeah. yeah. It's a nice, peaceful, not many people here, very chilled out. This is a very good question. We are just heading out tonight 
to meet another travelling British couple, James and Sarah, from thewholeworldornothing.com. Yep, we're going to have pizza. Okay, so we're here at Why Not Pizza with James and Sarah. Hello! Hi! <laughs> and uh, what have we got? Uh, margarita pizza. Margarita pizza. Yeah. We had this the other day, didn't we? And it was pretty damn good. Yeah. What have, what have, what we have, have you got, got, guys? We've got Parma. Uh, parma ham and... Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese, yeah. That is oh, damn good too. Nice <laughs> Enjoy your meals. Cheers. The air conditioning unit up there um, has suddenly stopped working, so we need to get on to the owners of the apartment about fixing that. If it's in the first month of our agreement, our rental contract, and something goes wrong, it's their obligation to fix it. So we organised to have uh, some water delivered to the apartment, and it's here ready and waiting for us. That's 50 baht for 20 bottles. We just found this massive um, market just down the road from where our apartment is. Full of everything that you could need, like clothes, shoes, electronic stuff. We even had some pets. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're here at the uh, Big C Extra. It is right here. And uh, it's a supermarket we used to come to because we rented an apartment about five minute walk from here yeah. a few years ago just for the month. What have we got so far? Some cooking supplies that we um, have been looking for but they've been expensive elsewhere. Just some things like the cheese grater, chopping board and also a mouse because I need one. My computer is very hard to use without one so Hopefully that's going to change my life. Just checking out the tea selection here. They've got quite a lot, but it's so difficult to find bog standard mint tea. Here's the proud owner of a brand new cheese grater. So we've been watching the Great British Bake Off and this week was Biscuit Week. So we're going to have a go at trying to make our own. <laughs> Taste test. Oh, but first. I burnt my hand. Amy burnt her hand. The baking tray. Oof. The taste test of this cookie. Oh, looks good. It's How's it good. taste? Like nice. A cookie. Ooh, like a real cookie. Really good. So that's the end of that vlog. Week three in Chiang Mai. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and please, please, please subscribe if you haven't already done so to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.